Richmond County swung to the right in the 2020 election with a majority of Republicans winning their respective races. From Hamlet to Hoffman, Cordova to Norman, Richmond County voters made their way to the polls Tuesday for Election Day. Campaign workers stood outside the voting locations with handouts to help voters decide which candidates to choose. Records show 56% of Richmond County's voters cast their ballots for Election Day. As a result, started rolling in, Republican candidates dominated their Democratic opponents in every race on the ballot. There will be three new faces on the Richmond County Board of Commissioners in January. Jeff Smart, Tony Maples, and Andy Grooms were each elected to the board in this year's race. Three candidates, each from the two major political parties, were in the race following the March primaries. For the Republicans, it was Smart, Grooms, and former LRB Mayor Lee Berry. Maples was appointed by the Republican Party to fill the ballot vacancy left when Berry pulled out of the race because of family issues. The Democrats had Jimmy Capps, the only incumbent, Michael Legrand, and Dewey Brower. Legrand secured more votes than Capps in the primary. Capps, Legrand, and Brower had the most votes from absentee ballots, but the early voting and election day numbers went to the Republican candidates. Smart was the top vote getter with 22.2% of the vote. Maples had 17.6% of the vote, and Grooms had 16.4%. Longtime commissioners Kenneth Robinette and John Garner, chairman and vice chairman, respectively, opted not to run this year after spending more than 20 years on the board. This means the board will have to choose new leadership. Ben Moss is heading to Raleigh. Moss, currently on the Rich County Board of Commissioners, won the North Carolina House District 66 seat in Tuesday's election against Representative Scott Brewer. The district includes Richmond and Montgomery counties in the eastern sliver of Stanley County. Moss said the support was humbling since not many people know him in the other two counties. Records with the North Carolina State Board of Elections show Moss handedly won Montgomery and Stanley counties with around 65%. The race was a little tighter in Richmond, the home county, to both candidates, with Moss taking 56% of the vote. Brewer was appointed to the seat by Governor Roy Cooper in 2019 when Ken Goodman was appointed to the North Carolina Industrial Commission. That seat has been held by a Democrat for decades, including former state insurance commissioner Wayne Goodwin and his wife, the late Melanie Goodwin. Moss was the first Republican elected to Richmond County Board of Commissioners in more than a century. Moss's seat on the county board will now have to be filled. Tom McCannis gets to keep his seat for another two years after defeating Democratic challenger Helen Probst Mills for the North Carolina Senate District 25 seat. McKinnis said his re-election shows that the district is interested in smaller government, lower taxes, better education, and more opportunities for economic prosperity for everyone. This is the second time Mills has challenged and lost to McKinnis. Senate District 25 covers Richmond, Moore, Anson, and Scotland counties. The majority of voters in the heavily Democratic Anson County picked Mills as in 2018, but McKinnis carried the other three according to the North Carolina State Board of Elections. Scotland County was the first to have all results in with McKinnis winning by 252 votes. Moore County voted overwhelmingly for McKinnis with the incumbent senator taking 64.2% of the vote. The race was also tight in his home county of Richmond with just more than 57% voting for McKinnis. This will be McKinnis's fourth term in the North Carolina Senate. He was, the, he was first elected to the position in 2014 after defeating Democrat Gene McLaurin. Governor Roy Cooper will be seeing another four years at the executive level. Cooper defeated Republican challenger and Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest by 240,000 votes. In Richmond County, Forrest was the favorite, seeing Forrest take 1,100 more votes than Cooper. Once again, the executive branch will be mixed parties as Republican Mark Robinson defeated Democrat Yvonne Hawley for the lieutenant governor position by 3%. The presidential race is still not over today. All but a handful of states, including North Carolina, have yet to see a declared winner as absentee and mail-in ballots are still being counted. As it currently stands, former Vice President Joe Biden leads President Donald Trump 248 electoral votes to 213. Other contested states are Nevada, Michigan, Georgia, Alaska, Pennsylvania. As of this afternoon, Nevada showed less than 8,000 votes separating Biden and Trump, according to Google. For all but Pennsylvania, the undecided states are less than 2 or 1% of the popular vote. 
When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Are you spending your money paying tuition and fees to a large university just to have your college student take the general education courses online? Come to Richmond Community College where your student will have local instructors, free tutoring, and access to services. Our transfer classes are acceptable at every university in North Carolina. We offer a clean, safe atmosphere specializing in individual student attention and small classes at a fraction of the cost. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Your Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush. Classic Italian Ice located here in downtown Rockingham. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Uh, so far, it's been a pretty nice one. A little bit cool outside. Very cool yesterday, uh, especially as we got into the evening. Kind of looking to be the same case tonight. Uh, still looking to be a little bit into the 50s. Uh, in the next hour or so, uh, but as temperatures uh, as the night goes on, temperatures will be going into the 40s. Uh, 7 o'clock, 49 degrees, uh, just 48 degrees at 9 o'clock, so it's a very slow uh, decrease in temperatures tonight. Uh, but sunset is going to be set for 5:21 p.m. Probably right as soon as this episode ends, you'll be seeing that sunset. Uh, and then Wayne, give us moon phase. We'll be out tonight. We've already passed our blue moon, and uh, we're getting back into uh, heading back towards a new moon phase. Uh, looking at tomorrow, we'll be seeing party cloud skies across the Sand Hills region. Nothing, uh, nothing really jumps out too much on this board other than seeing 70s coming back into play again and staying around uh, the mid to low 50s for the low. Uh, starting in Fayetteville, high at 74, low at 55. Rayford, high at 73, low at 54. Down in Lumberton, it'll be a high of 75 and a low of 57, with Warmburg seeing a high of 74 and a low of 56. Down in Bennettsville, South Carolina, it'll be a high of 74 and a low of 56, with Rockingham and Hamlet seeing a high of 75 and a low of 58. Up in Ellerby, a little bit cooler, high of 72, low of 53. In Waysboro, we'll be seeing a high of 73 and a low of 52. Now looking at seven-day forecast, as you can see, we'll be seeing a lot more 70s on the way and a lot of 50s on the way as temperatures are going back up just a little bit. Uh, definitely will not be seeing it like it was last night or tonight. Uh, temperatures getting all the way back up into the 60s for the low uh, later on, or early next week rather, but we'll get into here in just a moment. Thursday, high of 73, low of 53 with partly cloudy skies. That will carry over into Friday with a high of 73 and a low of 56, followed by Saturday with a high of 75 and a low of 58, also partly cloudy skies. And party cloudy skies continue on for Sunday and Monday, with Sunday seeing a high of 75 and a low of 61. On Monday, it'll be a high of 77 and a low of 62. As you can see, temperatures are continuing to go back up. On Tuesday, we're uh, just a couple of degrees shy of 80 again. High of 78 and a low of 66, with a slight chance of showers uh, on the way for Tuesday, a 30% chance, and uh, are expecting to see some uh, foggy weather in the evening for that day as well. Uh, as we get into Wednesday, it'll be a 50% chance pretty much throughout the entire day. High of 77 and a low of 61. 
Uh, and so we're going to be seeing some rain later on uh, early to uh, middle of next week. So be on the lookout for that. And as it stands right now, weekend's looking pretty solid. Uh, nothing too much to worry about there. But that is going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. Of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Berger. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.